Hey, this is Mark. You're going to love this video. Is there a question that you want to know about yourself or your career path or your relationships or about the direction that you're going? Well, we're going to get an opportunity to answer that question. You see, we're going to visit the wise one and the wise one knows all. Now, this exercise will require a little time investment on your part. About 17 minutes is the exercise length. So you're going to have to come back to this video if you don't have the time now, but come back to it where you can relax, close your eyes and go on this journey. The better your imagination, the better the results you're going to be. Please comment on it. Let me know how the experience was for you. I look forward to hearing from you. The wise one knows all, knows absolutely everything. If you could ask the wise one a question about you that you would like answered, what would it be? Let's begin the journey now. Go ahead and close your eyes. Make yourself comfortable. The wise one lives high above where we currently are situated or where you currently are situated. I'm not sure exactly where the wise one lives, but you know in your mind and you know where you're going. It could be a top of a large mountain or a tall building or the structure is extremely tall, extremely high, and it's not easy to get to the journey ahead of you will not be an easy one, but you're prepared mentally. Maybe, maybe not physically, but your mental drive and ambition will overcome. And of course, you're focused on reaching that destination. You begin the journey to the wise one. And as you step onto the path or road, when I reference the road, I'm not referencing necessarily a highway or a street. It's the road, the journey that you're about to take. It could be a cobblestone path. It could be a dirt track. It could be a small trail. It could be a highway, a six lane interstate freeway. Doesn't matter what it is. You see it in your mind. Now you look down this path and it seems to go forever. And at the end of this path is the base of the structure, the mountain, the towering structure, the building, the large tree, whatever it is, you see it in your mind. You begin the journey along this path. You begin moving forward and you notice and pay attention to the surrounding area. What do you see on your right? What are you passing by? You look to your left. You find it very fascinating. Why is that scenery there? What does it mean? What exactly do you think that that's the purpose of that scenery is there? So you continue moving forward, you continue walking. You look at the path, you stay focused on your goal. Your goal is to speak to the wise one and ask your question. You take in a deep breath. As you exhale, your mind becomes clear with only one thought, your question. You begin the journey. You are determined. You begin the journey and move forward and now you're heading towards that structure and you move along the path. You feel like you're getting almost halfway there, but halfway there is still a long ways to go. You're encouraged. Your spirits are high. You know you can make this journey. 
Many others have not made it. Why? Why are you going to make it? Because you're different. Your reasoning is different. The purpose of this journey means much more to you than it does others before you. You continue to move to this journey. Now you arrive at an obstacle, an obstacle along this path. You weren't expecting this. It's a little bit of a strange obstacle, something that's blocking the path. There seems to be no way around it or through it or under or beside. So you take a moment and devise a plan, a plan to overcome this obstacle. Now you execute that plan. You begin to overcome that obstacle. There's resistance, but you continue to move through. Now you're on the other side of that obstacle with a clear path, with a clear path moving to the base of the structure. You take a moment, you stop, you turn around, and you look at that obstacle you just overcome, and a sense of pride and accomplishment comes over your mind and body, and you feel good. You feel real good. You turn back around and continue the journey. The structure, the wise man lives at the top. The wise one lives at the top. And now you're moving closer to the structure. You may have underestimated how big this structure is, this mountain that you must climb to get to the top. As you're moving closer, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It seems to go way, way up. You look up and it's almost overwhelming. But you remember what that drive and that fire is and the reason as to why you're here and the purpose as to why you're about to climb this structure, this mountain to the top where the wise one is. You're almost at the base of the mountain now, structure. You arrive there. You look up. There's no point looking up and staring any longer and wasting time, you're determined to climb and move forward, move upwards and onwards. You begin the journey. You begin the journey and you know it's going to be physically exhausting. But there's no stopping you. You've come this far already. You continue that journey moving upwards, climbing, moving, walking, pulling, pushing, running. You continue moving your quarter of the way up the structure now. You continue moving upwards, onwards. You're getting closer to halfway there now. There's a little area where you can rest. You're halfway, you get to that area. You stop, you rest. Not because you need the rest, because you wanna to get to the wise one. But this rest stop is more of a reflection point. You stop and you look back. You look down the structure, down the mountain, and you see the path. And that path, so small, so far away. You feel good. There's a calmness that overcomes your mind and body. You turn around and the rest is over. You begin 
to climb some more. You move upwards, onwards. It's becoming more difficult. Your legs are burning and weak, your arms, but your mind is so strong. And where the mind and body go, the emotions will follow. You can do this. You can do this. As you continue to focus and concentrate, you're focusing and you're getting to the top and you're moving to the top. The summit, the platform, the peak is within range. Much like counting, climb, much like climbing Mount Everest, many people can climb two thirds of the way up. Quite a few people can climb three quarters of the way up. Very few make it to the top. That's the hardest point. But you're determined, you're focused. You can make this happen. The wise one lives at the top. You continue that process. You're getting close to the top. You're getting close to the summit, close to the, the peak. You reach up. You can get your fingers to the top. You pull yourself up. And you sigh. You've made it. You turn and you look and you see where the wise one lives. And there's a door. You know that the wise one's inside. There's something about the energy that you can feel. You feel the energy. It's comforting. It's soothing. You walk to the door. You get to the doorway. And it's okay to walk in. It just feels right. So you walk in. And there at the opposite side of the room is the wise one. The wise one's back is to you. The wise one is sitting there calmly. So you walk over to the wise one. getting closer and now the wise one turns and faces you and you make eye contact with the wise one and you're very surprised yet calm and cool and confident as to who the wise one is but it makes sense The wise one gives you the look. And you can see the look in the wise one's eyes that lets you know that now is the time to ask that question. So you ask the question now. And now you wait for the response. And now the wise one responds. It's time. You've got the answer. Now it's time for you to turn and walk out. You're not the same person. You can't be. You cannot be exposed to that information and not change. What does that answer mean? How is it shifting your mind? That answer becomes a part of you.
and you begin to own it. You walk out, you're standing at the top, the peak of the structure, the mountain, and you look down. Everything looks different, feels different. Now your energy moves, moves you. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, back to the here and now. On the count of five, you'll pop your eyes open, refreshed, revived, awakened, aware. One, charging up. Two, energizing. Three, filling up with all kinds of confidence and self-esteem. Four, accepting the fact that understanding your own mind potential moves you to being a better person, a better understanding person towards other person, other people rather. You're okay with that. Your understanding of this mind, of your mind, is a gift. It allows you to believe in yourself and that this information, feel free to pass it along to others because you have a gift that many people may not have been exposed to. Three and four, eyes sparkling clear, refreshed. And the next number I count, one, two, three, four, and five. Pop your eyes open, 